Welcome home, Rep Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob the Nickelodeon collection. And the creator and CEO of this channel does spend some time on Conch Street hanging out outside of Squidward's house for some reason. But I hope you beautiful people are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Comfort cartoons, mail time. Camera flip. It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Red Pack, because your boy is here. And today is one of your guys' favorite series on the channel. And that is Mail Time, where we open up some mail by you, beautiful people, here in the Rep Pack. So hit the like button right now for all these beautiful people and for this series, because we could not do it if it wasn't for these great people here. We're going to be opening up packages from right now. This one came from Faith, who actually put a little letter there and let me know that she is a long-term SpongeBob fan. And she said that she's old enough apparently old enough I mean, in my eyes you're never old faith but old enough to be my grandmother your grandmother Mitchell Wow so that means she's been a, she's been a fan of Spongebob before we even probably cohesively knew what he was true dude, you know what yeah. I mean like when Spongebob came out I would have been like three four so like, I knew about him I guess maybe but not really knew or could process what he was so she's been collecting Spongebob stuff for years and she said she's trying to downsize her collection a little bit and she wanted to send it over here for the rep pack so so thank you, Faith, for being an amazing member of the Rep Pack. But being an OG, original SpongeBob fan, I mean, you're like, you're at the top of the staircase that people like me are trying to climb to. You set the foundation of the SpongeBob fandom. So round of applause for you. That is incredible. And she said she's my grandmother from Virginia. So this video will be titled, All These Packages Came From My Second Grandma in Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> or my third grandma, I guess. But both my grandmothers are no longer here. I miss them both very much so it was nice to see that I have some other grandmotherly love out there in the world thank you so much Faith let's go ahead and check this out okay so it has a letter here like I said we already got a chance to take a look at the letter here but it's all wrapped up so we didn't get to see anything let's see what is here though okay so the first thing we have a little letter up here and it says welcome home uh, Virginia is for music lovers let's take a look at this and see what this is so in her town they also have a magic festival that is called Queen City Mischief and Magic and it's a whole convention or festival that they throw in the town around Harry Potter. And they can bring in up to 10,000 people that are Harry Potter fans too. I mean, that's awesome. So thank you for including this little booklet in. I'm here, I'm actually a Harry Potter fan too, so it's really, really sweet to see this. All right, so starting off at the top here, already a banger one, dude. Look at this. We have Nickelodeon, The Secret World of Alex Mack, 1996 through 1997 calendar. Dang. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Free poster inside. Exclusive interview with Larissa, Alex Mack. That is unbelievable, dude. Reached out for $10 back in the day. That was not cheap, even in 1997, dude. That's a, that's a pricey calendar, but it came with the poster. And we got it at the book fair here for you know, a good discount there. A nice piece. We have some Alex Mack images right there. Alex Mack was definitely a show that I had to watch later in my life because, I mean, when this show was airing, I was like literally like two, three, four. And this is the kind of stuff that you can only get when you've been a Nickelodeon fan since the start. So thank you so much for getting faith for sending this in. Amazing piece there. All right, but now we are into the package here. There's a bunch of wrapping here. So we'll give it a little a whole lot of blue. Yeah, a whole lot of blue. There's another card here. Let's check this out. So this is a SpongeBob card, it looks like. Because I'm ready, I'm ready. Build your own SpongeBob SquarePants, sponge included, and just add glue. That is so freaking cool. What? What? what in the Krabby Patty? That's unreal. So you can use this literal sponge that you can then glue on. You can either take this sponge off. Yeah, it looks like you could take the sponge off if you wanted to. Put it inside of these actual pants here. Add the legs, the arms, the jellyfishing net. You know, that is so freaking sweet. And build your own SpongeBob. That is so unique. And this was released in 2006. Dude, if I would have got this when I was like 11 years old, I would have flipped out. You don't have to even put any money in this card, I'll be happy. So let's go ahead and put that back inside 
side of this card here for right now to keep it protected. And we'll keep on looking through this. Thank you so much, Faith, for your kindness. Appreciate it so much and grateful for anything that we get inside here. But this is incredible so far. Okay, so then next up here we have, ooh, dude, throwbacks. This is Monsters, Inc., McDonald's toys. We got Mike Wazowski. And then we've got his actual, like, we have, I don't know if it's Boo's door. Or no, it's just a red door back there. Like, we have one of the scare doors that they would use in order to fill the cartridges. Huh? And then we have his girlfriend, Celia, too, at her desk. <laughs> I'm surprised that Celia was able to stay inside of this pack. I mean, her and her snakes can be a little bit spicy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but that is so cool. So these are the original McDonald's toys from Monsters, Inc. Let's keep checking it out here. Next up, we have a really cool Marvin the Martian. So you have the old school Looney Tunes logo on there. And he actually has a little backpack. Like, what can we put in here? Like, an SD card? It's a very small backpack, but you can put something in there. And then, dude, look at that solid. This thing can hold back a giant clam. This thing is sturdy. That is that. Feel that, dude. Like, titanium. No. That's like... <laughs> <laughs> this is like a tow hitch, man. This thing is strong. That 90s style metal to actually hook on to your keys. Really, really nice quality. And of course, Marvin the Martian is iconic. So thank you so much for that one. Okay, the next up. Oh, green label. The SpongeBob wash mitten. So you put your hand inside of it. and you Right can, up in there. Right up in there. And then you can wash whatever you're washing That's with amazing. SpongeBob. You can literally give your dishes the sponge treatment. I would never use this to wash my dishes, but very, very cute. Huge fan of that one. It's green label, so that is awesome. We're always looking for new green label stuff to add to the collection, of course. It was only three bucks at Family Dollar? That ain't no Family Dollar, that's a Family Three Dollar. What a false advertising. Next up, we have an old school SpongeBob ball. Think fast. Oh, Mitch, you thought so slow, that hit you straight in the abdomen. The abdomen? <laughs> Try it again, you can catch me off guard at any moment. I'm off guard, I don't know what you're doing. Oh man, look at that SpongeBob over there. <laughs> Whoa, see, you can't catch me off guard. All right, so you have the old school SpongeBob ball here with the original logo on it too. So freaking cool, I love it. Okay, so then we have a baggie here with a bunch of different stuff in it. Whoa. Let's check it out. I see a little, little pin in there. <gasps> oh my goodness. The nostalgia of this one right here. You know, I think I've talked about this on the channel before, how we've got those other SpongeBob uh, figure kits that actually came with those little figures inside these little capsules. Yeah. I had this exact one, this little bunny. I'll never forget going with my dad to the donut shop. Got myself a freaking chocolate bar. Got myself a glazed donut. I me a couple of them donut holes. And I was chilling, but it wasn't enough for me. On the way out, I saw this <laughs> and I put my quarters in the machine that my dad had because you know back at this time you still use cash sometimes you know so he had some quarters put it in there and I popped this guy out and I remember being at home and like playing with this for so long and I don't know why I didn't know like what he was doing I thought he was playing football so I always like imagine he was like running down the track with some kind of like Easter egg football <laughs> his arm is out you know like he's pushing off defense or something <sighs> But maybe he's just running, or maybe he just is walking. I don't know, but either way, an adorable figure nonetheless. And I'm going to keep him in these capsules. That's just so nostalgic here. And dude, look, we have the Garfield from the movie. And this one is holding a goldfish. Like, I wonder if this came in, like, a box of goldfish or something, maybe? I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, but really cool. And then we have this brain here of some kind. And dude, this is so cool. Nickelodeon No Brain Eraser. And look at that. It has the Nickelodeon logo on the brain. That is is awesome and she didn't even use the eraser she don't make no mistakes and it comes in this little brain capsule if this is in the 90s vibe i don't know what is dude like pulling this out of your backpack in 1997 dude that was just that was expected you know this is such a 90s vibe that purple color you saw in many of the nickelodeon products back then so sweet i feel like oh yeah dude come in here look at the glow on that it's making the whole room in this side like glow so you just put that on there and man the 90s knew how to make freaking glow paint it probably has chemicals in it that probably shouldn't breathe in, but yeah. <laughs> Look at that. All right, keeping it going here, we also have, oh, look at this Patrick. I think that a man who eats fish, gold or any fish, is just a little bit inhumane. 
What do you think, SpongeBob? All right, Patrick, it is inhumane. <laughs> this one's still sealed. We have the pirate SpongeBob right there. That is so awesome. And then next up we have here in this one, the jellyfishing SpongeBob as well, the little jellyfishing SpongeBob figurine. And these are all from like the green label era as well, for sure too, back in maybe 2003, 2004. Okay, and then the last one here, I've never seen this before. It's like a little sponge sponge. It's an actual sponge here, 2005. A little tiny sponge. SpongeBob like squishy. Before Squishmallows were even a thing, they were just putting sponges inside of fabric. Okay, keeping it going here, we have some more awesome ones. Oh, dude, this is so awesome. What is this? Bikini Bottom, and it's the Patrick. I think you pull it back here. Whoa! <laughs> we got Raging Waters, Soak City Patrick. Look at him with the inner tube. <laughs> oh, look at this. What is that? It's a what? Where did you even get this at, Faith? This is a Snick keychain. A Nickelodeon Snick keychain. I'm telling you, dude, it's so rare to get anything with a Nickelodeon like logo on it. Just a Nickelodeon product. You find SpongeBob stuff, find other shows, but just Nickelodeon products, very rare to find. And it actually has this little glitter slush in there. And do you know what this reminds me of? What does it remind you of? It reminds me of the new tsunamis. Oh yeah, it does. Like we just talked about how these new tsunamis, like maybe in like, you know, 10, 20 years, they might not hold up because in a lot of snow glows, products like that, the moisture tends to leave them and they don't really look so good. So here's a really, really modern one, but I am wrong, obviously, because dude, this one's from probably, I would assume maybe early 90s, almost probably 30 years old and, and the liquid and the slush are still there. That's so freaking awesome. And if you look inside of there, see if you can catch the letters. Sort of, yeah, I see the K. It actually has all the letters to, to spell Snick and actually has like a little Are You Afraid of the Dark, like fire, like log cabin fire. And then of course you have the stars, the moon. That is such a like unique Nickelodeon item. That is so incredible. And that's gonna be going back here. We're gonna be hanging this guy back up here somewhere in the, uh, the main center shelf. Cause that is just, I love Snick. Snick stands for Saturday night. Nick, I believe, and it was a whole like line they had going on, and I don't know when they would have distributed this product or how they would have distributed it, but nonetheless, this is an amazing one, so thank you so much, Faith. Okay, and then we have a bunch of All Real Monsters booster packs. Ooh. We got one that's already kind of open here, so I'm down to just open this one. We have All Real Monsters. Oh, gotta... oh, wait, these are, are they different than the other ones we opened? Yeah. So me and Mitchell have opened up some of these. <laughs> and they are rough for the hollows. <laughs> yeah, they are really hard to get a hollow. Like but I feel like this pack, like these cards are not the ones that we got in our box, are they? No, oh, they look different. But there's a couple of the cards right there and what they look like. Super sweet though. And I feel like we've never pulled these cards, even though we've opened up a lot of packs of this set. So we have some ones right here though. And I'm gonna keep these guys sealed. I mean, we do have five. Let's just make it a normal number. Let's just go for five and we open one. All right, let's go ahead and do it. No, I don't wanna do that one. My instincts are telling me this one since I saw it. All right, we got Crumb, Obelina, and also Ickyus inside of the toilet. We have that glow in the dark brain we just saw. We have the Buckle Grom. Up. We have Ickyus and uh, we got the Gromble down there. I mean, again, all artworks I can't remember seeing in our openings of these. So I wonder if there was different year variants, like a lot different year, but different waves they released of these cards. Cause I can't recall seeing any of these. Like these are probably ones that she picked up back then, you know? Yeah, instead of more modern picking them up. Yeah, I have no, resellers or whatever. Yeah, I have no clue, but these are so cool. And I love that the Nickelodeon logo, if you look at it closely, it's actually a little cockroach. That is an uh, interesting logo. For sure. <laughs> okay, so, so far, killing it, right? Yeah, this is all really cool. <laughs> Unbelievable setup of different stuff here. We use variety. So next up, let's check it out. We have a SpongeBob book cover. Very, very fun there. You got the same, Pat he's the same Patrick that's in this. You know, he's not. Maybe it's on this side. I feel like I see that Patrick. I guess he's just, he's always kind of doing these type of things. <laughs> it's crazy to think that she could have been there that I actually picked this stuff up as it came out, you know, instead of just like us, you know, where we're just like, oh yeah, we had to look Find back. Find it yeah. vintage. Yeah, she was there in the stores possibly when this stuff came out. Okay, the next up here we have the SpongeBob booties. Charm. Skid Freeze. I don't even know what that is, but they're basically like slippers. Oh my goodness, dude. It's that? It's a logo, the actual yeah. SpongeBob logo for the grip on the inside of the shoe. That is sick. And it looks like there's a second one on the inside of there, so they're inside of each other. And then look at the bottom. Oh, that's what for the, the bottom one. <laughs> yeah, that's the bottom grip for the shoe. So when you're walking, your skid free 
abilities come from the actual vintage SpongeBob and Jellyfish logo. That is amazing. Green and white label too. Oh, I love this little SpongeBob charm. Oh, I didn't even notice the little charm. That is so dope. Oh man, I want to wear these <laughs> for the winter, but I can't. I gotta collect them for now. That is so simply amazing. Like, <laughs> simple, but yet amazing. Obviously, they could do a product like this, but it's just like, they have such a 2000s vibe to them with that huge logo on the bottom. It's one of my favorite sites in the world is that OG SpongeBob logo. So seeing that be the bottom of the shoe, I mean, it's like Andy signed it, but it was like Steven Hillenburg. Yeah, true. You know? <laughs> oh my Goddard. I gotta wait till you see all this green. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> There's people that could like pull out some treasure and like to sell a side of gold But when I pull out like this green, I'm like that's heaven. Right yeah, there. it's just heaven in a bag Seeing green label for me. This is everything my childhood was made of is this green label So seeing a whole bag of green what in the heck we have the Spongebob band-aids here But they're like in these blisters. I've never seen them in these little blister protectors before <laughs> Like did she buy these blisters and put them in them or did they retail with these? You know, they have a seal on them. Like they must have retailed with these on them. We have these SpongeBob glow in the dark band aids there, okay. which I have used on many boo boos. <laughs> on many boo boos. There's a gift card. <laughs> oh my goodness. SpongeBob gift cards. What? An Adora one, too. So we have this Walmart one, this Walmart one where he's ripped pants. She is awesome. And then I've never seen this before. We have the, that's a big lenticular. She goes from here to right up there. She is sprinting. She's <laughs> sprinting. She's like, this is a lenticular cover boots. And if we're going to keep with SpongeBob, we got to make it seem like we be moving. <laughs> so one frame, bam, we're right in front of you. So the next up, speaking of charms, dude, we have the shoe. <gasps> I see it, yeah. Did you see the fin? Yeah. It's so freaking like cute is like not even enough there's not even a word for that level of adorable like that's it is suffocating me with its pure-hearted nature <laughs> <laughs> this next item we have the spongebob charms here the zen master in the bubble there you have the tongue out spongebob you have the christmas spongebob so many cute charms here that you can use for keychains or for charms but this pin is the best thing i've ever seen in the world we have the be happy pin with the SpongeBob and Patrick charms. This I would so never need another cute. pin in my life. I want to sign my friend my will in this pin. This is amazing. It has the little pineapple on the top of it for the actual click pin. You have a little shell on this one and what looks like to be a little blue coral or, or starfish on this one. And these amazing sculpts of both SpongeBob and Patrick. I feel like it's some of the smallest SpongeBob and Patrick's we got now. Absolutely, dude. And this is one of my favorite products ever. Like, it's just a pin, but it has the whole definition of this channel and what we like to embody here. Be happy, you know? The whole point of this channel is to hopefully make you smile, forget all the worries and stresses of the regular day world, and just try to live and revive, resuscitate our childhood memories and love, nostalgia, and just the good, simple times. And this pin feels like all of that to me. You know, I would love to take a pin like this into all my adult aspects of life, and it would give me a little strength just knowing I have a SpongeBob Patrick with me and a little message just saying be happy. Okay, next bag up here. We got some plushies. Do I grab the, okay, let's do this one. This one's actually a different Ooh. vibe altogether. What we the have heck? the alien. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be the literal claw. The claw. <laughs> you have been chosen. Ah. Uh. And this is. Oh, he talks. We sh and he lights up. Did you see the light? I have been chosen. Oh I have my! <laughs> By Thinkway Toys. This is the original. Ah. But he is so sweet. He's Thinkway. So this was like when the original Buzz and Woody came out. This would have come out with it. That's amazing. Me when I see all the stuff that Faith sent. <laughs> <laughs> that is like the most nostalgic too, out of nowhere. Yeah, there's different levels of nostalgia here in this box. Like Faith did an incredible job with this whole package. It's so much nostalgia from start to finish. Next up, we've got these guys, which Ooh. are SpongeBob Pez dispensers. Oh my goodness. They seem different than the ones we have. These are the original ones. So we have the ones from like Five Below and stuff, you know? Yeah, these with are... the gold and crystal set. Yeah, these are the original, trigital, first ever SpongeBob 
SpongeBob Pez dispensers. Why does that look like the SpongeBob popsicle almost? <laughs> kind of does, right? We have the look at Patrick. Oh, he's never looked so light pink. <laughs> I'm excited. Is there Squidward in there? I don't know. We have the hardback edition for SpongeBob and Patrick. We got the Squiddy. Yeah. Squiddy right there. Can I have that? We have the SpongeBob one. And oh, I needed this one. We have the SpongeBob. And he's naked. <laughs> did you know this is a really cool one because this would have been when he did the uh, the help wanted where he flies out of bed and he says look Gary I'm naked look at me I'm naked but that's what it makes me think of so I mean I love seeing Spongebob naked not to be weird or anything but it's funny you know it's funny and he's also pretty handsome <laughs> and then we've got the Patrick one right here as well too. So you got the three, you have a whole set of them as the regular characters and you got the two hardback ones right here for SpongeBob and Patrick. An amazing setup here. Thank you so much Faith for helping us get some of the uh, old school ones here in the collection. We have the new modern ones, which I mean you can take a look at the packaging. I mean you have the old school Pez logo. Like how is it the same logo but somehow this one looks older? Huh. Like what do they it's do? It's just white squares but it looks different. You know what it is is the top of it has a white White, very modern, whereas this one has the blue all the way through. All the way through. Yeah, the blue all the way through. The white is a Gen Z Pez. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and check out some more stuff here. Faye, thank you again so much for everything you sent in here. All right, what do we have? Ooh, I saw a little something, something on that side. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> I feel like Spongebob in Sandy's house. Water, water, air, air, air. I don't need it. I don't need it. <laughs> I need it! I need to take a drink from this. Oh my goodness. Get their hand in the pot. Let's oh see my it. goodness. So this is some of the original oh. Nick Candy Spongebob gumballs. Gumballs! Did you even know Spongebob had gumballs? No. <laughs> no, I didn't. I mean, we had the gumball machine, but those came with regular gumballs, not Nick Candy gumballs. So when Nick Candy was first released in 2002, 2004, they released a bunch of Nickelodeon candy products for Jimmy Neutron, Fair the Odd Parents, Spongebob, and some of those candies stuck around like the famous Krabby Patties that we still have today. Well, that's actually the only one that stuck around. <laughs> the rest of them eventually faded into obscurity. So we have the Spongebob gumballs, Nick candy. This was one of the early products they released and then it was eventually discontinued as they realized that the Spongebob Krabby Patties was going to carry Frankfurt into being a multi-million dollar company. <laughs> <laughs> Frankfurt was like, okay, we got the Krabby Patty, we're set for life. <laughs> But they did have gumballs there. That is amazing. So we have the gumballs archived here in the collection. And then next up here we have Ooh. some SpongeBob balloons that are green label SpongeBob balloons. But this is gonna get better and better as I go through these items, guys. I don't want, I'm gonna pull it over here so Mitchell can't even see them here. Dang. This one got a little open, it looks like. But I'm gonna try to repair this because this is actually a plankton tangle. So Tangled actually had a few products back then. There was even a Nickelodeon Tangled line that they released, I think at McDonald's or maybe Burger King, where it was all tangles that you put together. But this is actually the Plankton Tangle right here. And to be honest, there's a SpongeBob one, Patrick, and Plankton. Of those ones, the one I'd wanted the most would be the Plankton one. That one's sick, yeah. He's just the most unique. It is open here, but like I said, I'm gonna try to see if I can repair the, the box with some glue or something, because it's all pretty much there. I think I could get it right back together, just so I can have it for display. That is so sweet. All right. I'm not done yet. We got another one of these little SpongeBob capsule figures. Saving the best for last here. We have some SpongeBob OG green label hey. wristbands with the charm on there. You got Patrick, it says, Do I look pretty? Oh, you're, you're, you're beautiful. <laughs> then we got the SpongeBob one here. Oh, another item I had as a kid, man. I had this wristband with all the SpongeBob faces on it. And this is my favorite one sophisticated sponge. And it has him with the uh, little freaking scarf. That's so cute. <laughs> and we're not done yet. We have two of the Nick Candy original SpongeBob Dang. Krabby Patties. Two 
of the original Krabby Patties individual packets here. So now we have another variant of the original first ever SpongeBob Nick Candy Krabby Patties. We have the theater box right there, which comes with five or no, 10 of them in individual compartments. But these were the ones that most of us grew up with, the individual packs like this, right? Yeah, it's like it's more iconic that way than it is the box, you know? Like the box is like, I never had that theater box. I had a lot of these guys growing up. And you even can see the details of it a lot better because you can see on the back of the packaging is a Mr. Krab, which I never even knew was back there. And you have a Krabby Patty image. So this is a, an eye opener for me as a collector to be able to see this thing in its full form here. And this is the first time I've laid my eyes on these details since I was about maybe six, seven years old. Thank you so much, Faith. This is an item that like, I'm so glad you didn't throw it away. I mean, if you didn't eat them, some people would have thrown this up away. And it just goes to show you, you know, collecting stuff is, it's a gift that keeps on giving. You know what I mean? Like this is gonna make, it's made me so happy, but not just that, so many people watching this video right now are gonna be able to have that same nostalgic vibe and get a smile on their face from something that you just preserved, you know, for many years, just keeping it in your collection. You got to have the joy of you collecting it all this time. Now I'm gonna have joy collecting this as well. So many people are gonna get to enjoy this online. Just an amazing piece here. We have two of them there, but it keeps on going. How does it keep going from that? Yeah, the original Nick Candy. Oh. What the heck? Jelly beans. These are the original jelly beans with Dora, Cosmo, Wanda, and also SpongeBob on the package. Another discontinued product. And then finally, last but not least, we have the Nickelodeon Easter SpongeBob and Friends Nicktoon Sour Belts. You've got SpongeBob, you've got Tommy Pickles. On the back, you've got Ooh. Eliza Thornberry, Otto Rocket, Jimmy, Jimmy boy, you got some candy. And then we got the freaking cat dog as well, 2003. Wow. This is Galay Grub history. Like absolutely, we will be labeling these with Faith's name. This is Nickelodeon food Galay Grub history for us. It is a few and far between you ever get to experience food products from this time. I've said it time and time again. You don't see food stuff because people usually, they eat them or they throw out what's the remainder. And some stuff, like some products for example, if people don't buy them, they get put inside warehouses and they become new old stock. Maybe if somebody digs them up in the future, they end up in a box in somebody's garage and they stay there for a long time. Maybe somebody unearths them. But with food products, they expire. And once they expire, 99.9% .9 of the time, they get trashed. So to be able to actually still have the original packaging and be able to see this, I don't know. But for some of these, like these two, this may be like some of the first documentation online ever. Like, I haven't even really seen these either. Yeah, like this one has some of the similar branding to the original Nick Candy uh, SpongeBob patties. But we could very well be documenting some of these for the first time ever in their full form. This is unbelievable. So thank you so much for sharing these with us, Faith. Incredible. We will be labeling these and they will be going in the collection. And you know, as this collection grows and grows, this will still be a piece that I grab to for example and something to show for the Nick Candy era. So hopefully not only in this video, but for many years, people will get to experience and get to have some joy from these. So thank you so much. All right, let's keep this going. This is crazy. It's amazing. Next up, we have some plushies here, it looks like. Or no, SpongeBob slippers what? with lenticular eyes. That is sick. And I did not have these. They have his teeth in there too. I had some SpongeBob slippers growing up, but not these ones with lenticular eyes. We'll check these out next. This is from the yellow label here, and it says Happiness Squared Sweepstakes. And the prize peel has not even been peeled. Who knows, what if we could win that sweepstakes? You know how much I love sweet steaks? Marcus, Marcus, that's a sweep steaks, not sweet steaks. Well, you gotta keep your steaks clean too. That makes sense. And you have the teeth up there. That is awesome. The lenticular eyes on SpongeBob. You're gonna put your feet inside of his mouth hole and walk around. <laughs> you walk around with his body on your feet, which is partly one of the most horrific things I've ever heard of. But at the same time, equally awesome. So the next up, what? This the is heck? all Nick's expression stuff. I see one or two more in here too. It's all Nick's expressions, dude. Dang. I didn't know there was anybody that collected this stuff. I really didn't. Oh my goodness, get off the table. 
Nick. I always felt like Nick's expression stuff was stuff that was just kind of deleted from the Nickelodeon fandom because it was such a brief period of time and it also was a lot of office and like stationary gear. So a lot of people when they bought it, they opened it. Not a lot of people collected it. So I didn't know anybody archived any of this stuff. So I thought in some ways we may never really be able to collect this stuff, you know, like without it being one little piece here, one little piece there. But this is all Nick's expression stuff. So starting off here, we have the ingredients right here. So if you look at it, it actually comes with four postcards, eight stationery kits, eight envelopes, two rubber stamps, two ink stamps, two gel pins, two sticker sheets. They got a lot of stuff, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you can take a look at the back right here and you'll get to see all the different stuff that you got going on there. You got all the different, remember those little push pins you got at Scholastics? Yeah. You have yep. a push pencil, a pin, all these different greeting cards, some stickers, all these different post-its as well. But more than that, that I think is even really cool is the tin. Yeah, because you don't really get SpongeBob tins too often, right? Yeah, exactly. So the little tin, the real the tin is really, really sweet. So you got that one there. And these all come with cards, right? Yep, they all come with cards, which still we won't be able to see because we're not gonna open them. Yeah. <laughs> Next up we have these side burners here. For those of you the, the, the seven people that know what a side burner is. And then over here we have the oh my word, and that's exactly what I'm thinking. These are all magnets with the characters. They have all these different words like poof, pop, lion tree, I'm crown us nature and you can put them on your magnets you can put these guys on there the characters and then put whatever phrase you want below them <laughs> honey i'm going to bikini bottom see you later <laughs> <laughs> but i love the representation you've got reggie you got jimmy you got tommy old tommy you got freaking the old angelica right there oh yeah so you got all grown up instead of rugrats it's interesting yeah everybody's like a good representation even gingers on this thing that is really sweet the next up we have some more here oh wait a minute we will get to see some of those Ooh. cards yeah Yes, so we only have one Nick Expressions card here. So I would love to complete the collection of Nick Expression cards, trading cards that come with them. Every one of these products comes with one Greet Nick collectible card. We only have Auto Rocket and we have a Jimmy Neutron one. I was screen correct, we have two. So let's see if we get some new ones in the collection. And we'll be adding these to our Nick card binder. I gotta start adding them in there so that way we can start adding to them because we may one day be able to complete that. I'm hoping we get a SpongeBob then. Oh, that would be sweet. At least, right? Cards on the run. That <laughs> is sick. Yeah, one day we're gonna name a whole SpongeBob movie after that. <laughs> Sponge on the run. Yeah. I love that it's got Mermaid Man on it though. Oh yeah, we got Mermaid Man on there and don't forget Barnacle Boy. Man. Yeah, and you got the different cards right there as well too you can get. Collect them, trade them, save them. Tear off cards, five sets, five messages, five designs, just write, tear, fold them up and give. That is sweet. And you got a few of those kits in there. We got two of them. Crazy there's only 30 Green Nick cards and I haven't seen any. <laughs> Wait a minute, dude. Is this some kind of reader for those cards? I think it is a reader. You there are it in so and it many talks. levels to this. So then we have the best friends kit here, which actually has SpongeBob and Patrick theme kit. It looks like you brought it down. You oh got, my gosh. You got Painty the Pirate. It comes with two, two collectible cards in there. The best friends journal. So this one got open already. It's a Nick Expression sticker pack. So this is a whole packet of stickers and it looks like it's open. Oh my goodness. I think these are all cards that she put in there. These are all expressions cards what? we have the Jimmy one we don't have that one and then we have this one but this one's in way better condition so these are the expressions cards that I'm speaking of and they come with the pack right here we have a Jenny pack a Ooh. Jenny sticker right there Spongebob on a board Spongebob on a board and then dumb Patrick well I'm not say he's dumb but I mean he's dumb in that moment yeah these have to go in here that's what I'm thinking yeah we just they, need batteries but what happens if what happens? There's a barcode, so surely it reads it. Maybe what if he talks? That would add so many levels to this. Jimmy's like, hey, that what would up? Break my brain in addiction. I would have to get every single one just to archive all the audio bites. I hope. Let's open it up and let's hope, hope that it has freaking like a double A or something standard that we can put in this. A few moments later. So Jimmy card, let's see what he says. <laughs> It takes every ounce of brain power I have. You heard it? Yeah. It takes every, every ounce of brain power I have. Yeah. So we have Jimmy's there, and we have another Jimmy one. Let's check this one out. Let's solve it with science. Let's solve it with science. That's that's so sick. That is, dude. That is, Pokemon better learn something. That, dude, Pokemon can you reader? imagine if there was like freaking Charizard card? You put, oh, 
Lord, that is amazing. I already wanted to collect all these cards, but now that there's this, that's just another level. I don't have options. If you guys want to see a video where we go on a full on assault of trying to complete this line, we'll have to buy the cheapest Nick Pressions products we can find. But now that she sent us these, we could buy duplicates. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, true. We have true. some to archive them, and then we can go online, buy some of these products that already exist, and then try to complete this Nick Greeks cards collection and also archive them. And I mean, if you guys have any of the collectible cards you guys want us to send it in so we can add to the archive here, I would greatly appreciate it because I don't know how we're going to complete this line. It's one of the hardest collecting card game lines I could even imagine because of the fact that all of these are old at this point and you get one per box. And once you get close to 24, it's going to get tough. You know, like once you get to like halfway, it's going to get tough to not keep getting duplicates. I'm curious as what's in those now. Yeah, we have three packs right here. That are, we get to open right here. So let's check it out. We've got SpongeBob. Yeah. We got the king oh, of checklist. Oh my goodness. I don't even know if I should do this because I don't know what the checklist looks like, but yes, we have it. Look at these Danny Phantoms. Those look so unlicensed. Wow. But let me see what year did these come out? 2004. Danny Phantom wasn't even established yet. So these, those must be like prototype. Yeah. Those are literally like prototype, like Butch Hartman, like, oh, here's what we got. Here's the idea. We have Kablam, I think maybe. I don't even know what this is. We've got all grown up. We got Wild Thornberries, as told by Ginger. All of them got three, except for SpongeBob. They're like, yeah, let's get the big boy five. Yeah. Five, five freaking cards. Of course he needs five. Oh my gosh, dude. This is, this is an unhealthy addiction that has been started. I gotta hear SpongeBob's for sure. Of course. Ah, what a beautiful day. Oh, oh yeah. That's so sweet. Oh my goodness, dude. That, like, you know like how like every like business like it has this thing you clock in, you know, you like your ticket. That should yeah. be that for this. You just have it in the front of the, the cavern. <laughs> ah, what a wonderful day. <laughs> you guys gotta let me know. Do you wanna see us complete the Nick Expressions greeting cards? I think that you do. <laughs> I think you do. I'm gonna decide for you. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, we got Patrick here Ooh. dropping his sandwich. Look at him in the background. That's the saddest thing I ever seen. What does this one say? <laughs> okay, so we have the SpongeBob one, oh, the Patrick man, one. The last one. This please. collection is starting to come together. I kind of want a Cosmo. Oh, a Wanda! You didn't get exactly what you wanted, but we got Wanda. I mean, a boy can wish. So we have Wanda here. I'm cool with a fairly odd parents one. In general. Yeah, that one looks beautiful too. Man, we have so many to collect. The ones I'm the most excited to see here, though, are the Rocket Power ones, the Thornberries. And then that Danny Phantom line. You know, I'm wondering, like, what if these were like their uh, initial like campaign? You know, to like, oh yeah, Danny Phantom is coming soon. Yeah, to kind of get get it in people's brains. You know, kind of get that yeah. established before a show even came out. So let's go ahead and check out Wanda's here. <laughs> That is awesome. So we have five now. Five of them with the uh, auto rocket one I have. That would make it six in total. So if you guys want to see us complete it, we have 19 other cars that we would need. Oh no, 30. There's 30. Yeah. I thought it was 24 for some reason. We have 24 left. 24 left. Yeah, 24 left to collect. 30 in total. I would love to be able to say that we have a complete archive of all the Nick Expressions cards and we can archive all of the audio bikes here on the channel. That would be amazing. So thank you so much again, Faith. This box has been just like not only an awesome box, but a learning experience for me. This is only the first box. Yeah, this is the first box. It was truly, I am a big Nickelodeon fan, but some of this I've never seen, I've never heard of. You have literally taught me some stuff here and shown me some stuff here. Like this, I did not know was a thing. Okay, so the next up we have this beautiful <laughs> artwork. An address book. That's An sick. address book. If there's anything in here, we'll be cutting that out. I don't want to expose anybody's address here, but it's brand new, unused. It looks a little demented seeing SpongeBob's face like that. <laughs> I think there's an actual piece of art that's like this, and it's like supposed to be a representation of that, but it is wild looking. And then we have some other stuff here in the bottom. It looks like we are getting towards the end of this box, though. We have some vintage trick-or-treat hey. bags. We have the Rugrats one here. Hey, we got we got that Angelica now as a figure, kind of. Yeah, you're right. The witch Angelica with the cauldron and the uh, candy. We have another one here. It says, Happy Halloween. And it's got, oh, look at Tommy's so sweet at his little lion, lion outfit. outfit. 
Look how Ch uh, Chucky's selling Kellogg's cereal. He's selling cornflakes. <laughs> and then we got freaking the ugly stepsister. The princess yeah. Angelica, yeah. <laughs> and then we've got this one again too, but very cool and unique as well. Good old trick or treat bag. Yeah. Okay, so then we have some other stuff down here. It's like paper related stuff. Oh man. So we have the awesome SpongeBob Ooh. Hard Rock era. You also had a game at the same time period that came out, 2006. The Creature from the Krusty Krab, which had a whole piece of the game that was based off of Spongebob with this grungy look. Actually racing around. We had a racing game against like a grungy Patrick. Played that game, huge fan of it. We have some Spongebob old school stickers there, green and white label. You have some really cool scrapbook stickers here nice. that actually have glitter Sick. on them. And they have a little uh, 3D effect to them. We have a little treasure chest too. We have some more, including one for fun. Oh, the, the fun <laughs> one is sick. A little bikini bottom sign is really sweet too. And then we have- What is that? Two year plan. Planner, 2007 and 2008. I wasn't planning anything besides hopefully finding a date. Yeah. <laughs> that also just rhymed with 2008, so I said that. Very, very cool, but I, I wasn't getting any date in 2008. <laughs> I was 13 and awkward, <laughs> but very, very cool here. I feel like we're gonna need to make some room, man. Yeah. Over half the table is taken up. We're gonna have to figure it out for sure. Wow. I saw something like orange, but I couldn't, I couldn't make I it out. I let you guys see. Wow. <laughs> so first off, we have another one of the tangles. Hey. You got the SpongeBob one, and that one's like crispy. So you have these SpongeBob tangled here. And very awesome. Let's start taking these items out one at a time here and check them out, though. So here's like more of a smorgasbord of items. So we have this one, which is a Patrick squish him. So he's squishable, pushing his belly right here. Toss him and watch him stick. We have the SpongeBob and Patrick wall smackers, wall walkers. Wall smackers. <laughs> wall smackers. We have SpongeBob Beyblades. Look at this SpongeBob Beyblade. SpongeBob Beyblade. Who's gonna win? I'm calling Blue, because Blue is always true. And, and Pink. And it was Spud last. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Blue, 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 Blue. Damn, these spin for a long damn time. Oh, Blue is losing. Blue gets Dragoon. Yeah. No, Blue Dragoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they actually kind of fell at the same time. But Pink still got some motion. In so the ocean. Motion in the ocean. That was crazy, though. Clap we have the SpongeBob Mini Spring and Ling. Spring a Ling. <laughs> Spring a Ling. <laughs> That's sick. I never actually seen those either. His face is on it. That's so sweet. We have some SpongeBob Craft Ribbon. That is sick. This is a true freaking collector. You got everything. All right, checking it out even more here. Oh, man. These are the big size oh, candy toppers. Oh, my gosh. What the we heck? don't have one this big, I don't think. We have the the Squidward one, we have the Spongebob one, and we have the Patrick candy toppers there. Oh, Mitchell's gonna love this one. Look at this pin, dude. Ooh, that one's sick. It's a Tigger pin. That is so cool. I'm gonna pass this one over to Mitchell. That one is so cool. Okay, so we have some other stuff here too. We have some Rugrats, these are Rugrats movie toys. You have the Rugrats one right there. We have the Reptar wagon one there. We have the it, Chucky climbing up the stairs. Me we living in a two-story house. Yeah. <laughs> when I was a kid. We had a condo those two stories and man that was an extra workout you weren't looking for Oh, it's more spongebob pencils here. Wow. Green label era. A spongebob ornament and I think these should have candy in them Oh no puzzle pieces a spongebob puzzle inside of it. Okay, and then we have some more expressions We have these How spongebob so expressions many? here with the cling on dry erase board markers Wow, that pen is so cool, too. So you have some more expressions. We'll put that over here in this stack Dude, look at this wall Cling. That it's is freaking sick. my pal, the best friend in the whole world. These are going in my car. Wow, yeah. That is so cute. And I don't think this will get sun bleached because it's got the transparency to it. That one's sick. Be my Valentine walkling. Yeah, that one. Yeah, and then we have. So I think they're all Valentine's. Dude, there's a Reptar one. That, that'd be sick too. Oh, maybe. Who knows? But either way, we have the Valentines <laughs> for all us babies. To Dill, it's so cute. Then we have Chucky right here flying off in the sky because nothing good can happen to Chucky. Be mine, I'm yours, your pal. And then we have another one of these SpongeBob wall clings here. Same one here, so maybe, just maybe, this could be one we could open to get that Same greeting card there. We'll see, maybe some of the extras, we'll open them up so we can get the greeting card. Cause you can't find the greeting cards just like by themselves. Like it's really tough. Everyone's just like, now nah, we'll keep these things sealed. Yeah, so like you have to almost open them in order to get them. So we got that one there. We got some more of the Rugrats toys here. We got Bill and Lil, we got the Reptar, we got Dactar. We got, you know this one, Mitchell. This one's famous in this room. Yeah, with his friggin' hat that always falls off. <laughs> Who 
Look at the extra hat now. He's hanging right back there. I always have him hanging onto one of the shelves and his legs kick and stuff like that in order to pull himself up. One of my favorite toys here in the room. And the hat always falls off, always falls off. And Mitchell loves it because he has to pick it back up because he knocks, he always walks into it. We have Angelica with the little magnifying glass. We have this one back there in the room, but very, very cute. We got Angelica on her ride. We got the Reptar. We got the Chucky on the hopper here. We got one, we got Daktar's wings I forgot about. We got a little dill figure and it keeps going, dude. Wait till you see this one. The what? green label SpongeBob magnetic sea scenes. There is so much like glitter going on. <laughs> There's so much character representation going on. You have Sandy actually surfing from the Rip Pants episode. You've got SpongeBob surfing like he is in the back of the freaking SpongeBob waffles. You got the kelp bar here. You've got Sandy doing some karate. You got SpongeBob blowing a bubble. You got the race car from his dream. You have freaking green label SpongeBob with his hand out. Yes. <laughs> Make waves with your with your story. 30 magical nautical magnets. All of these magnets are freaking amazing. And he says, you make your own SpongeBob underwater scene with two magnet playing boards as well. So let's take a look at the back of the packaging and you can see the actual background road of like Conch Street. And then over here you have Jellyfish Fields. This is a lot of stuff for us to freaking go through, but I do not care. This is like legendary stuff. I mean, you can tell she's been collecting for over years, you know? Yeah, because some of this stuff, I'm sure is probably not even online at all. It goes straight from 99 to like yellow label. Unbelievable to see, like kind of detective through your <laughs> collection and see how long you were collecting. And it seems like you went all the way from like green all the way to the yellow label. That is amazing. So next up here we have a uh, bendy straw, green one, some Chucky pencils, some Rugrats Chucky pencils. Bill and Lil pencils. I wouldn't even thought they got their own friggin' pencil set. But of course they did. SpongeBob pencils, some more of the SpongeBob pencils here. SpongeBob pins. Hey. Didn't think about that. SpongeBob pins. Amazing. We got another one of the Rugrats movies toys. We got Spike. Oh, now you know I'm a fan of this one. We have the Angelica Pickles. Ooh, yes. That is so cool. We have the Angelica Pickles pencils. That'd be perfect on the shelf over there. Call her Angelica Pencils. That would go perfect back there. Really sweet. I love freaking 90s branding with the, like, the logo card there. Damn near, I'd say like in some ways, they should have done the SpongeBob one as big as that. Like That's so cool, the big profile of Angelica there. We have the sticker set for the Christmas, the Rugrats Christmas sticker set, vintage of course. Those are sweet. <laughs> and then we've got a whole stack here of oh, check them out. Wow. Of Rugrats stickers. You've got the Angelica and crew, you've got Reptar and crew there, you got Angelica with the babies, you've got the whole gang right here in this sticker. Look at her keeping away the basketball, a little friggin' mini Shaquille O'Neal bully on the court. And then finally here, the last item for this incredible box over here from Fade. We have is one of the Ooh. old school green and white label SpongeBob color catchers. And this is actually fabric. So you paint on it with the actual paint and actually have a little piece of fabric, like a little fabric cloth you could use in your house as a little wall art. That is so much fun. And damn, that paint in great shape. Flawless, yeah. What the heck? <laughs> so there is a lot, a lot of stuff to go through here. Faith, that was unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> that was amazing. Did did not and never expected to have a package this well thought out. Incredible, incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much <laughs> for being my extended grandma over there in Virginia. You definitely did an incredible job here. Every single piece of it. I learned so much here. Got to experience so many new SpongeBob related things here, which I consider a true honor. The Nick greeting cards was a world changer here. We have so many of the new Nick candies. I mean, all the new Rugrats pieces here. So many cool little odd products that I never even knew existed. So thank you so much for sending this in again, Faith. As with all fan mail videos, all I can say is thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm always grateful for the, the amazing kindness of the rep pack. And I want you guys to make sure you guys show Faith some love down below and say thank you to her as well because this video, this experience that we all had, I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I'm assuming probably close to an hour. This whole little mini SpongeBob vintage movie that we yeah. got to make was because of of Faith 
it. So if you guys enjoyed it, had some pizza, some popcorn, it was a way for you guys to escape from your day and be a little relief for you guys. That's my goal every single day. And today I had really, you know, no part besides just sitting here and saying thank you of it. Faith was the one that brought this video here to you guys today. And Faith, you definitely made a lot of people happy. And I can say you definitely made this sponge boy <laughs> really happy as well. So thank you so much. Appreciate you. Love you. And thank you again for being incredible and being a part of the Rep Pack. There's no age too young or too old to be a part of the Rep Pack. And we're honored to have you here. As an OG SpongeBob fan, as OG as it gets from the date of his release, you've known about SpongeBob. So thank you so much. Without any further ado, you guys stick around. Of course, we're going to add some of the stuff to the collection. And we got a lot of labeling to do and a lot of scanning to do here. But you know the drill. Scan it. So we have all of Faith's items right here. Many of them we have gotten labeled as well and we're gonna be adding in a bunch into the collection here. Let's go ahead and get started. But as you can see, for example, right here, we got Faith H 2023. We got this one labeled. We got the little ones labeled. We got as many of them as we could get labeled as, you know, as far as the ones that wouldn't get damaged by labeling them. We got so many over here to go through, but let's go ahead and add some to the collection. Let's get started. I already have some ideas of some stuff we're gonna be doing with the green label. We made some room if you can't tell. Okay, so in the green label shelf, you may notice there are some changes, including a really big item that I absolutely flipped my top for. You will see that video soon, or maybe have already seen that video as well. But there's a lot of changes, a lot more new spaces opened up for the green labels. And just like we have in the back of the room with the cork board items, we are very soon are gonna be moving this stuff back all here. And that's gonna be going to the back of the room, which will eventually be becoming a wall art type of area. And this is gonna become a cork board of all green label blister products. So as we collect more green label blister stuff, all the stuff like this right here, this guy right here, this one, this one, this one, this one, green label, this one, this one, this one, this one. The green label was the era of blisters. There was so many products that were, I mean, like half of them on here, like these guys right here, you can see the band-aids, has a little cork right there for you to actually put it on a little crochet hook. So it's gonna be really easy to make a whole wall of green label blister products just like that to make have more space for like a full size product products on this shelf and then the blister stuff right there and then of course just keep expanding from there but we added a couple items right here including the magnetic sea scenes I loved it so much it had to get a really centralized spot up here on the top shelf along with there's a, there's a, a really scratched up disc holding up that uh, <laughs> album back there I just wanted to hide that I'm sorry <laughs> but yeah behind the scenes secrets but I had to give it a central place here right in front of the Spongebob vinyl album and we also added the band-aids in the plastic wrap right up there. I actually put away our cardboard covered one just because I felt like the plastic one was just, you know, it's new, it's fresh to the collections. So I wanted to put it up there. We added our little SpongeBob mesh mitt, wash mitt right here. So freaking cute, little legs hanging out there. And then back here, we added our SpongeBob pencils and I almost forgot. So I wanted to add these guys in here, the personalized pins. So I have them right here just for right now. As you guys know, everything here is ever changing. So eventually with time, some stuff may end up in the vault, but nonetheless, for right now, this is the way it's set up. And these two figures right here are green label old candy toppers. And you guys may have noticed we had the Pop Mart figures up here previously, which I love those very much, but they've been moved down here to our bookshelf. That I think looks a little bit better for them. And that way we can kind of dedicate this shelf more to the vintage stuff. So now up here is all vintage related figures. And as time goes on, you know, we can put some of these back, bring some of these forward so that we have more space. But for right now, we're just going straight down the line. But we got these 
two now, the SpongeBob and also the Squidward. And as we get more, we can fill these in more and more with some of these vintage toppers. I think that'll look really, really cool as we get more and more vintage related product just to go on this shelf. For our Nick Candy gummy, I added that right here next to our sour gummy. Two grails that have come in from fan mail. You guys are incredible. Thank you so much for helping me fill in both those Krabby Patties into the collection. We have so many of them checked off. I'd have to make a like recheck and make a new list of which ones we're missing. I know we're missing the one pound gummy and also the sponge on the run gummy. But off the top of my head, I can't think of a lot more that we're really missing. We've gotten like all the main flavors right here. We have really come together and made an awesome collection here of the Krabby Patties and archive them as you know our generations, I'd say one of our generation's favorite snacks. I mean, yeah, we all love Skittles. We all love Snickers. Those were around way before us. These came around right when we did. So it's kind of like, you know, our big swinger from our generation as far as candy goes. These guys right here, I know I'm trying to keep Galley Grub right here. A little minimal for right now just because of the fact that like food is so expansive that it's actually started to consume my kitchen, pun intended. So some of this stuff will be going into the expanded food collection, including maybe one or two of these, but I am so hyped on all three of these products right now that I just want them to have them in the background. So that way we could all enjoy them for a little bit in all of their glory. And like I said, they could get moved around in the future, but would be only going into the expanded collection for food in the kitchen. We have all these reptars, and I this is the only real representation we've ever gotten of Daktar. So I kind of like, hey, why don't we have Daktar up here? So I'm gonna slide Daktar in right here in between the reptars, just to kind of, I don't know, have you know one of the other dinosaur mascots of the Rugrats on the shelf besides just Reptar, just to kind of fill in that little space there. Okay, so right here, this used to be our Nick Jr. shelf here, but I do love collecting the Nick Jr. books because it does add to our world's biggest collection, but I have put the Nick Jr. books in the vault where the vault wall, well, I'll keep adding whenever we see like a really good Blue's Clues book, Dora, Wow Wow Wubsy, I mean any of the Nick Jr. shows that we love. I'll be adding it to that collection, but I do not see myself grabbing them as often for reading, for reference, as I do with other things. So I wanted to dedicate this compartment here for the Nick Expressions here, because this is something that we are going to be focusing really hard on the channel to adding to. Don't know if I'm going to be able to fit them all in like this, but we're going to try our best to. And trying to categorize and complete our Nick Expressions collection over time, and of course, trying to complete that collectible trading card set. And if you guys want to see me go for more of them, let me know. But I think we're going to be trying to add more and more of them over time. And that's where they're going to be going for right now, along with our little Nick Expressions card reader. And for our Nick Expression cards collection, I found the Auto Rocket and the Jimmy Neutron that we had in the collection already. So now we've got, I mean, a good little set of them here. I really, really want to complete this whole set. So hopefully with time, we can get all of them. That would be incredible. I'm in love with this line and I already know after making this video I will be making it a little bit harder on myself to complete said line But you know, it's all part of the love and the fun for the Rugrats Angelica pencils Like I said, this is going on Angelica's shelf basically. So I think it looks perfect there I mean, like I said, I mean she's like the Spongebob of the Rugrats. She just keeps dominating more and more of this collection Okay, and for our Nickelodeon brain I added it right up here and I also added our little schnick keychain right here in front of the main golden child himself Spongebob all right, so that is it for this one. Again, thank you so much, Faith, for sending in everything. I appreciate you so much. Much love coming your way from the cavern. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To all of you guys, and make sure you guys show her some love down below because we couldn't have done this video without her. And if you guys are ever interested in sending fan mail, the address is on screen right here. And on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget we're on Patreon. You get extended version of this video and also every other video that we upload. And the longer the video is, usually the longer the extended version version is so you guys have been loving that over there so go check it out it comes with a bunch of additional perks as well so don't miss out on it and don't miss out on us on whatnot two nights a week Wednesdays and Friday and you get 15 bucks off your first pickup over there free money which as a collector I know can go very very far and be very very appreciated so go check it out and don't miss the opportunity to get a free $15 and I'll see you guys over here in this amazing video that I know you're gonna love it's always rep pack I will see you beautiful people in the next one adios